Uh, yeah, hey, uh, good afternoon to everybody, and just uh, thrilled to see um, 12 teams in the, sorry, 10 teams out of 12 in the Pac-12. That's amazing, seven uh, going to to the uh, NCAs, and then uh, uh, you know, us being able to go to WNIT as well as Colorado and Utah. So it's, you know, it's such a great conference, and I wish all the teams a lot of luck in it, and I know that everybody's going to go out and represent the Pac-12 uh, just as strong as possible. So looking forward to it. Our team's excited about getting to have the opportunity to play in postseason. And uh, obviously we've got a great opponent with BYU to start us out. Scott, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, just talk a little about the, the season that you had, all, all the injuries, and then really not coming down to now with the really not an opportunity to play. You know, maybe it's an opportunity you didn't think you were going to get, but now it's here, and you got one more chance, at least, at least one more chance now to showcase what you guys got. Well, you know, I, I think that uh, there just can't be enough credit given to the team. I, I think that, you know, going through not once but twice, three, almost four times the amount of injuries that we went through and the phases that they came in is a real testament to them and their hard work. And, and the fact that, you know, a lot, of, a lot of our players were thrown into the fire, so to speak, by having to play and play bigger roles right now. They, some of them weren't ready for it, but they certainly have taken advantage of the opportunity to improve. And, you know, the, it, it has definitely helped us. It's bode well for us this year, and I, you know I know down the road in the future it's going to continue to to really help us the, the experience and the progression that they've all made. As now, now obviously yeah. all these injuries, uh, all these injuries are not good, but uh, who are some of the, the players in your mind that really stepped up and really, um, um, in, in your in your opinion, perhaps uh, you know took advantage of their opportunity and showcased their skills. Well, yeah, I think that's a long list, but. Uh, you know, I, I think Penelope definitely um, took advantage of the the enormous amount of minutes that she had to play at the point guard position. I think that her leadership skills have improved. I think that she's becoming way more aggressive offensively, knowing that we needed more offense from that position. Um, I, I think that our front line has definitely improved. I, I love the fact that Nike McClure is playing with so much confidence and defensively she's been able to be, you know, the final line of defense, so to speak, with the, blocking the shots, taking charges. Uh, she's become a better rebounder, and she's becoming way more confident in her scoring. So I think that you know that's a, a person that's gone through a lot of injuries in the past, and, and has really started to emerge in the front line. Um, you know, I think Alexis Sweetland. Um, you know, she's kind of been the steady Eddie, if you will, um, throughout the, this whole. Um, you know, I, I think the second half of the season, just the fact that, um, you know, I think when the injuries first happened, we talked a lot about maybe Alexis was feeling a lot of pressure to kind of carry the team, with especially with Bobby and Lou being out and their scoring, and then obviously losing Cam and, and Chanel. But I think once she relaxed and just let the game come to her a little bit more, um, I think that her confidence really grew, and she found out that, you know, that she could really put up a lot more points than maybe what she realized in average if, if if she just, you know, plays with her teammates, lets the lets the game come to her a little bit, and and relax and not feel like, gosh, I've got to score 40 for us to win. Um, but you know, I, I think that you know, I, all of our players have definitely improved. And um, but you know, when you talk about people that really have stood out, uh, those do. I, I think that you know, the other thing you got to you got to really look at uh, Kayla Washington, a true freshman in this program who started out playing the four position for us, uh, has moved over to the three position, and. And, um, you know, for a freshman to be able to play both inside and out, uh, I think it speaks a lot about her talent and her basketball intellect. The other thing is, she, you know, she's a fierce competitor. And, um, you know, I, I just love the way her game has continued to improve all throughout her freshman year. Considering the Pac-12, we've got, what, 10 teams into the postseason. Um, I mean, is that a testament to the, to the team, to, to your team, the fact that it was a grind week night in, night out against this type of league and, and get to the point where they're not able to compete in postseason play? Well, I think first of all, I think having 10 teams in postseason is a testament to Chris Dawson, our conference commissioner. I think she has worked really hard with all 12 programs to to get us to play the type of schedules that we need to play. Uh, the you know I think she's improved the officiating in the league. I, I you know I think that she's done a lot. She's brought a lot of knowledge back to the league because she was she was the the head of the selection committee up to last year. So uh, you know I give a lot of credit to Chris Dawson, our our conference commissioner, and what 
what she's done uh, for the Pac-12, as well as, of course, Larry Scott. And, you know, and the Pac-12 networks has been phenomenal. It's helped us in recruiting. It's also helped expose how good the West Coast really is in basketball to everybody back east, Midwest, and in the south. And uh, it's great to have a conference that two years in a row now has been the top conference in the nation in women's basketball. I think as far as, you know, grinding it out, that's a great word because every game was, you know, such a battle. And, uh, you know, whether it was regular season, the Pac-12, or obviously the conference tournament. But I think, you know, that that's what this is about. You know, you, you when you come to the Pac-12, you want to be able to test yourself night in and night out of how good you can be. Can What can you do against the very best? And, you know, um, you know, I love coaching in it. I, our players love playing in it. And I know our fans really love it too. So, um, just great opportunity, and um, just uh, uh, just you know, feel really very very fortunate to be able to continue to coach in the Pac-12 and take this young group like we did and have the success that we have have had, and we want to continue to do that. Thank you very much. Can you, can you talk a little bit about the matchup? With BYU and, and having to hit the road, right? This, this oh, yeah. Well, first of all, thanks to Bill Moose and, and Ann McCoy for the opportunity um, to to go in postseason. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's really exciting to to be able to, to continue to practice and to take this group into a, a postseason where it's one and done, but a chance to play for a championship. You know, I, I think that our, our team was able to rest up quite a bit after the Pac-12 tournament. They've come to they've come into practice, you know, eager and hungry like they have all year to get better. Um, I, we've seen some improvement this week, so you know we're we're really excited about the opportunity. BYU is uh, you know is is a great program. It's been a great program for for new numerous years and uh, one you know a couple things that stand out is just how efficient they are offensively and defensively um, they'll get after you <clears throat> excuse me they'll get after you defensively with uh, you know with mostly man to man but they'll mix it up and they really uh, you know uh, get out and, and pressure and deny and try to push the offenses out and make you uncomfortable um, you know when they want to they go to some full court pressing uh, some matchup zone some two three release zone a, a lot of different things so you know you got to be on your a game offensively and be able to handle the ball that's the first thing the other thing is they're very very good in transition you know they get up and down the floor all five players really really are in great shape they're playing at altitude I think it's a 4,000 plus you know their elevation and so they're taking advantage of the, of the elevation to, to really get up tempo against their opponents and um, you know, uh, I, I think for us, you know, we we know that they're a very good team. Uh, I'm surprised that they're not in the NCA. To be honest with you, I think that they've they've had a great year, and I think they're playing their best basketball here down the stretch in March. So we're definitely going to be challenged going into Provo, and at the same time, we're excited about that. You know, they're they're a team that uh, enormous amount of respect for, very talented team, a team that we know we're going to have to bring our A game, and I believe we can do that.